Hello YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my videos. Today's video is another haul video. This is from Friday, my favorite day of the week. Me, Mama Val, Milk, Smelly Melly, and the kiddos all went to some garage sales. And this is all the treasures that I found. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it because there is a lot of stuff to show you. This first thing cost me $5 and it is five wicker baskets all the way from this big size to this little itty bitty size. But what I really liked about it is they all came with their lids. I am a sucker for wicker. <laughs> Next up, I paid $6 for all of these. So $1 each. And this is the Pretty Little Wires TV series. I felt like kicking myself in the butt when I got home and looked up comps because I didn't realize that there are seven seasons out and I only got one through six. So the person that I got these from, they have a garage sale. Like like every single weekend they do storage units so I'm gonna go back and fingers crossed that they have number seven still shoved in their box of DVDs if not that's okay I still saw seasons one through six selling and honestly I'm probably just gonna binge watch all of these and then maybe sell them at a live auction um, I'm not looking to get rich off of them I just really wanted to watch them the last non-clothing item I got was $2 and it is just this gold tone desk lamp. I liked that it was bendable and this little guy is going to live right there on my desk. So everything else is going to be clothing items. I think most of it's for Poshmark. I only picked up a few things for myself, so I did very good. So I'm going to try and go through the clothing a little bit faster than my last video. My last video, holy cannoli, it felt like I was filming for two hours. So first is this men's Nike Golf. It's a size extra large sweater. It has the Nike swoosh on the side, red quarter zip, boom, that's all you need to know. Next is this Adidas extra large men's sweatshirt. It has the logo in the front, nothing on the back, excellent condition. The inside still feels really fluffy like it's new, so I thought that was a really nice pick. Up. Next up is by the brand The Villager. It's size 14 and it is this super cute vintage skirt. The buttons on it are really, really cool and it's a full button up skirt. Um, it has an elastic waist, but the print on this is like a map or an atlas. I don't know. I'm old and it's been too long since I've been in school, but this is really cool. This next one is by the brand Sport Savvy and it's a size small. Again, this is vintage and it's this leopard print, lightweight bomber jacket. Super cool. I think this is perfect for fall. And I love the color blocking of the brown to the leopard print. Um, yeah, really cool. Buttons on this one kind of remind me of Chanel. It's not Chanel, but it just kind of reminds me of that. Next up is the brand Bill Blass and they are just these vintage mom shorts. I thought they were really cool. I'm going to try them on. If they don't fit me, these will end up in my Poshmark closet. Next is the brand Wrangler and it is this vintage western style button up top. I just think that these kinds of shirts are really, really cool looking. Um, everything for a while is $1 and I'll just let you know when the price changes. Um, this next one was a Carhartt and it's a size extra large tall and it's just one of those 100% cotton work shirts, but it was in perfect condition. So I went ahead and picked it up for my Poshmark closet. So I've been hearing some YouTubers talk about how they won't pick up brands that aren't searchable and I kind of completely disagree with that. I think if something is in style, it's gonna sell. You just kind of have to know your keywords and know how to describe something and make it searchable. So this next item is an example of that. The brand is Huntington Ridge. I have never in my life heard about this brand. So even though I didn't know the brand, I know the style. I know that this will sell for me. Um, this will probably sell anywhere from $30 to $35. I've had very good luck selling vintage shorts. Personally, what I look for in vintage shorts is that they are high rise, pleated, they have pockets, and if it has rolled cuffs or a rolled hem, that is even better. Um, so that's exactly what these are, and I am pretty sure that these are going to sell anywhere from $30 to $35. So yeah, brand doesn't necessarily make an item searchable. The way you describe something makes your item searchable. One thing to remember if you're going to be listing vintage items is to put measurements in your listings. This says that it's a size 8, but it is definitely not a modern size 8. Um, in the world of vintage, this is more like a size 2, maybe a size 4. So make sure to put measurements in your listing, but don't be afraid to pick up vintage because of that. I think that a lot of people who buy vintage and who pay up for their vintage 
know to either look for measurements or to ask for them because they know that the label is not true to size. So don't be afraid to pick up something just because it's not brand name and don't be afraid to pick it up just because it has vintage sizing. Next is the brand Woolrich and honestly this is just a bread and butter brand for me especially when it's just a simple button up shirt like this but I still thought it was really cool looking. This next item is for me and it is this Levi's Silver Label. Um, I don't know if Silver Label is anything special but it's just this vintage short sleeve button up. I'll look up the comps and if it is worth selling, I'll go ahead and throw it up on Poshmark and if not, this will stay with me. Next, I paid 50 cents for this t-shirt. Um, it is this Jeff Gordon NASCAR race shirt. Um, there's no size tag, no label size and it's not, did I say it was vintage? It's not quite vintage, it's 2001 so we're a year away from being vintage but I picked it up because it has the large graphic on the front and the back. I am in no way a NASCAR expert. I really know nothing about it. All I know is that people like to have a graphic on the front and the back. Next is another example of how I pick up style over brand. The brand is Outdoor Exchange. I've never heard of this. It's a size large, but I picked it up because of its style. I think this is really in right now. It's this oatmeal colored sweater. It's got the quarter button up pop over top and it's more of a slouchy oversized fit. And I also like that it has this drop shoulder and that just means that the shoulder goes down like right, well, I'm wearing one right now. So that just means that the shoulder goes down a lot lower and that's a drop shoulder. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, this was 50 cents. Next is another example of how I pick up style over brand. These are just a Riders by Lee relaxed fit jean. And Lee is nothing special at all, but I do like the style of this. This is what I consider to be a mom jean. And when you're looking for mom jeans, what you're really looking for is just that it has the high rise and that it's tapered. So those jeans have a wider waist and then they go down from there. So that's the silhouette you're kind of looking for. This next one is a brand that I don't typically pick up, but I picked it up because it's a bread and butter and it is new with tags. Um, these are the J. Crew Hip Slung, and originally, like the retail price, these were $78, which is kind of crazy, but they are just this dark wash capri length jean, and I paid 25 cents for those. Oh, and the jeans before that I paid 25 cents. These next jeans I also paid 25 cents and these are just another bread and butter American Eagle super stretch and I believe these are a size eight. So it's just a skinny jean. Like I said, it's bread and butter, but these do pretty good on Poshmark. They sell anywhere from 18 to $20. And this last clothing piece is from a brand that I like to wear. It is LL Bean and it's a size medium and it's just a plain vest. But I thought with the season change, it's getting colder right now, especially here in Colorado. Um, I thought this would do well and it was only 25 cents. I have one more thing in my haul. All of my clothes were sitting in it and it is this laundry basket and I paid $5 for it, which is really good for a basket this big. Yeah, five bucks for this huge old thing. Really good deal and that is everything in my haul. If you saw anything you're interested in, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Vella Milk. It'll be linked down below. Also, also linked down below is my Instagram. It's my personal page and yeah, that's everything for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.